Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna check out the making of the song Tum Kya Mile from the upcoming movie Rocky Aurani Ki Prem Kahani. So now after watching the trailer, um, I do have to say that the name, the title is more fitting now. But still, I'm not so satisfied. Because also the trailer, I mean, if you've seen my reaction or my review to it, it's about this switch, so maybe they could've just... I don't know... called this movie Switch? <laughs> it's, I know it sounds stupid, but... The trailer really wasn't that impressive, but anyways... So if you're new here, you can check out my reactions or my reviews to the trailer, the teaser, and to the first song that released Don't Gamile. And now guys, before we're gonna check out this making of, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this below my channel. And also, if you want to, you can join me on Patreon, there you can find full on movie reactions. Reactions you can't see on YouTube. Also, Coffee with God on reactions, there are many, many more things. So if you're watching this here on YouTube, then you will see my review now. The heat is killing me again. <sighs> so at first, guys, I feel like we always forget how much hard work there is behind a single shot. <laughs> it was so cold in there, the snow and everything, it looked so beautiful. But especially Alia being in those saris and she looked so breathtaking, but it's so cold and she isn't allowed to look cold, you know? She isn't allowed to shiver and all of that if that isn't like what the director wants for this. And this is one of those aspects we always tend to forget. Also, the Pika and Besha Ramran. They filmed it in um, Mallorca, but uh, it was really cold there and um, that's something we don't see in the end. And also, what I especially also tend to forget is in those uh, slow motion shots that this is actually a fast paced song they have to lip sync to and it also sounds so weird and your expressions need to be on point when uh, the song comes faster you know and you lip sync to it and it's also so weird for you because you're like <laughs> I mean the song sounds weird because it's a higher pitch faster and all of that so you're not allowed to laugh you have to take it seriously you as I said, your expressions need to be on point because you're not doing this in slow motion. The end result is gonna be in slow motion, but you have to do it like faster. <laughs> and it's actually like, ah, in the end. So <laughs> it's always something I really love about movies, but it's really tough to do it actually. And also the fact that it's a tribute to Yash Chopra, I mean, I've also seen it, but I think I didn't talk about this before, when Ranvia is like jumping into the snow, this totally reminded me of this clip of Shah Rukh Khan in Dar. Was it a Yash Chopra film? I'm not sure, but um, it... But he definitely also did like that in um, Tomere Samne, you know? And I also remember that Ranvia also... Um, did this scene, I don't know, for an Instagram reel or something, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so guys, I really do hope that the movie turns out to be good, but I feel like the songs are definitely gonna be amazing. I'm still like uh, wondering because Rendia said that this is the, the only love song for this movie, I'm not sure. There's another love song, right? Because when they're like dancing in the rain and all so stunning so I can't wait for the other songs of this movie so guys please tell me your opinion about this video in the comment section down below what do you think about it and let's check out the comment section on this video real quick and let's see if anyone has written something interesting you know what's also weird that for this movie we don't have Sony music in yet for this we have Sarigama that's weird because usually for most Tarman productions or Karanjua movies it's mostly by Sony music in the end but well, four months after having a baby, hats off to her, yes, and also what I need to say about this. This really shows also the different communities, I mean, in this YouTube video, so in the comment section of this YouTube video, we we'll see like people saying, oh, hats off to her for doing that, and then on Instagram, we see like most people, oh, what a bad mother she is, like, what the bad mother? I mean, no mother is bad if she stays at home for, I don't know, three years um, to be with her baby. And also, a mother isn't bad if she goes straight to work after that. Because everyone is entitled to do what they want. And if, and I mean, she got the money, 
she got the money, she could have a nanny, she has a family of her own, she, Ranbir also has a family, they can also take care of the baby. So it's not like she's putting her baby into the trash can and says here, I mean what, the, what is this? What do people expect? Now that she has a baby, yeah I'm gonna throw my career away, nothing against those women that do that, but everyone is ent entitled to, to throw their career away or say no, I want to continue working. What is this? This, I hate those people. <laughs> yes, as I said, the fact that Alia shot this music album wearing a chiffon sa sari, sorry, <laughs> one of the coldest places is damn challenging, as I said. Thank you! Karen really loves Alia like his own child and it's actually so wholesome to watch him direct the song with such affection in his eyes. This is exactly what I wanted to say. Uh, I also did this, like I imitated him a little when he was like looking into this uh, thing, you know, and saw the shots uh, Alia was uh, was doing. It looked so, <laughs> so cute how he was admiring. Also, it's kind of his work that's probably also not only Alia, but he's also admiring his work and it's really nice. Obviously, it's sad that he has his favorites, you know, but it's actually really common in the film industry. You know, this is the sad reality also I faced. Um, especially the movie industry is all about connections and that's why nepotism works so well especially in the film industry because it's all about connections it's all also about relationships uh, if I meet directors when I'm being nice to them when I'm being genuine considerate and all of that and am working well with them then obviously they're gonna book me for the next movie too or for a bigger part next project whatever and this is the same case in Bollywood too so I feel like people are really Really forgetting it sometimes that the movie industry is all about working together and establishing working relationships and obviously uh, as a director you want to work with people that you like that you get along with and not only people I mean <laughs> lots of people are saying Kangana is really talented but most people don't want to work with her because she's she could be like the biggest talent on this whole planet I don't want to work with her if she's if she's so um, stubborn and I don't know like I don't know how she is on set. Maybe she's like a diva. I'm not sure, but maybe this is also probably one of the reasons why she doesn't get like these mainstream movies. I mean, she also says she doesn't want to do them, but yeah, it's all about the work ethic too and how nice you are to people. So guys, oh my god, totally different topic now, <laughs> but anyways, that's enough of this video, I really, really hope you liked it. So if you're new to my channel, then check out my other videos. I mostly do Bollywood content here because Bollywood is my life. And if you haven't done it yet, then please follow me on Instagram, I post everything Bollywood right there. Please also check out my Bollywood talk videos and my Bollywood edits, I put so much blood and sweat into these videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and mostly don't miss anything in the future. Just if you want to, of course, I'm not forcing anyone, and that's it. Hope to see you guys in another video again. Oh, <laughs> oh,